this Kelmike 84 her back again. Pretty much we're gonna do a tutorial how to install in a five and a quarter bay D5 pump clear uh, clear reservoir. We're gonna put the camera down here with a uh, a D5 uh, lean pump or called for Swiftec MCP655 it's, it's a lean pump it's the same thing but this version right here is the best one because it's 1500 um, liter per hour it's very strong very fast so it's a variable fan so it's a lot more better uh, fan up but a uh, pump anyway just uh just here it is pretty much usually there's a plastic cover comes here just uh, remove that. I'm going to I'm going to show you a little bit what and quite obvious, uh, quite obvious that uh, you put the black version. I've seen people paint these to different colors. Seems kind of uh, seems kind of I don't really like that. I like black. It goes with a lot of colors and all that. So I'm not really uh, worried about that because I have tons of these everywhere. So I can be able to get these easily. So just use the uh, screws, use hand tie them and from there just uh, do the rest. So uh, I'm going to be building actually a, a custom water cooling kit it's called the uh, Raystorm D5 Water Cooling Extreme Kit. It's actually going to be on website in about a couple more days. We do have water cooling kits. It's just like the custom ones, but only difference between that pump and this one, uh, this kit, is actually the the pump and the tubing. The rest of it um, is going to have Raystorm. It's going to be an EX version, 240 EX 360. We're going to have a RX version. We're gonna have a, a 360 RX version, and we're gonna have the the bigger. Uh, we're gonna have the two 280 and the 420. Yeah. So it's gonna be each version of that. We're gonna have the kits because we have a lot of these uh, uh, pumps and tubing. So we able to able to sell these. You guys have any questions about it? Just leave a comment down below anyway so pretty much that's it that's installed already looks better already okay here comes the most interesting part about doing the, the loop it took me a little bit to get the hang of it but reading the manual is kind of annoying okay so being careful and all that so you want actually the pump sitting this way so having the pump this way you want it laying flat I'm very very picky having the lettering like this and that I like having it I can see it and by the way one more thing this right here is actually for the for the actual pump but it's a drawback when you're doing this when you do it you cannot um, able to uh, control it whenever you want it's, you have to actually remove it maybe you could find a special air wrench or something um, yeah you can't do nothing about it so pretty much this is the only only problem if you have a bay and just it, it's going to be kind of a gonna be kind of a pain but anyway that's that's about it I, I see that's only problem but anyway let's get this going so here's the bracket you want it to be facing this way so it's gonna lock in right here you want to make sure that 
it slides in from inside of it. So you just get the cables, slide it through. I would recommend sleeving this thing. We're, we're going to do it, but it's going to take a little bit. So, pretty much lock in right here. It's pretty easy. You're going to hear a clip noise and all that. So, that's step uh, one. I try to line it as much as I can. There you go. Now it's in. Now, I would recommend the next thing. Next thing is you get this the um, the O-ring and just literally just put it on top of it on the actual itself. It might slip over a little bit, but just get it in there. Now it's in there. See how it's exactly in there like that. This is how you install it. And just to let you guys know. Don't freak out if this comes out. It's actually magnetized because it spins. You hear it? Magnetized. So it's a really good pump. But anyway, last thing I would do, I will install the screws already on top. Made it a lot more easier to install the pump because it, it just seems annoying how to design it, but it's a very good it's a very good pump so you slide it right here so pretty much I'll just slide it in here exactly how I have it just line up you're gonna see the rubber uh, the rubber uh, uh, o-ring is gonna just slide in there it's gonna drop I'm gonna flip it this way you're gonna see it there and you have holes right here I would do parallel first counterclockwise just to make sure that it able to work So again, it's still not in there. Just to make sure, just look at it, because you can see through it because it's acrylic and all that. Still not over here on this side here. Just look at it. Just don't put too much pressure, because you might actually break the acrylic. I mean, it's thick enough, but you don't want it to force itself too much either. Just check it. Just a couple hand ties. It's pretty much well. That's about it. It's actually installed. So this is pretty much the finished product. We're gonna be selling this on SPC.com. It's actually on the front page. Installed already, or you guys buy it separately, learn how to do it doesn't really make a difference the price is about the same almost it's just easier because we actually put it all together we just pull it up and we just put it inside and we just wrap it inside and that's it ready to go so uh, this is the best pump at the moment right now um, that's about it I mean It looks pretty pretty good. I mean, look. 
I know people want to do two of these together, but to be honest, one of these is perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, it's it's very fast. It's 4,800 RPMs. You you get it done really quick. You'll be very, very happy, you guys. All right, you guys. You guys, please hit the like button, you guys. I'll see you guys a little bit later. And if you have any other comments or questions, just PM me or you can call me at svc.com. There's a number right there. It's actually um, 1-866-99-2970. Ask for Mike. If you guys don't able to reach me, you can email me at purchasing at svc.com or shipping at, at svc.com. All right? You guys take care. You guys uh, have a good day. Later.